excited we are for this. At least I am. We've actually got somebody in for an interview. I know these are becoming interview. And so, uh, welcome to the stream, Elite. Hello, thank you very much for having me. Started. Uh, simple question, first of all. Uh, what are your what are your thoughts on France? Do you like it, or is it a challenging track for you? I, I love France. Just the uh, exit of turn one is the only bad part, but other than that, I love France. Ooh, that's not good. My internet's not working. Hope the stream's up okay, but we'll, we'll keep going and assume it's not a problem yet. But if you see that in the top right corner, I can't do anything about that. My internet's been playing up all day. Uh, uh, anyway, I'm, yes. I'm, I'm going to take it from here then. Um, so, Elite is sixth in the standings right now in the constructors' standings, but you're only 23 points behind third place behind Alfa Romeo. The top two are gone, let's let's just assume <laughs> that, but that third place, Alfa Romeo, 23 points, pretty much in reach. How much are you looking at, at the constructor's place trying to get it? And how much is it about, you know, looking at race to race and, and just trying to get good results? Most importantly is the race results week by week, but constructors is important and we'll definitely be trying to catch Alfa Romeo, but most importantly is just getting the car inside the top 10 first. But constructors is definitely what we're looking at as well. I was going to ask okay. about the strategy for today's race because I've seen in other leagues one stops and two stops are both quite viable. What are you sort of leaning towards tonight? One stop for me. I don't believe I have the pace for a two stop to challenge for points, so I believe it will be a one stop for me today. And one thing is, as well I've also seen is that it it always seems to like to rain here so have you done any practice for that because from what I've seen it tends to be more the end of races there's almost certainly always a rain shower or at least from what I've seen have you done any practice for the wet weather? I do have a wet set up just in case uh, obviously we've had the week off so we had nine days of practice instead of seven this week so we did do two days in the rain to make sure if anything does go wrong that we do have an option there so that is definitely one option that we can't go for is the wet set up today. That's uh, all I've got to ask. Have you got anything else, Austin? Um, I'm thinking right now. Um, I, I do have uh, one more question. With the uh, so For this race, the soft tyre uh, skip. So uh, the soft tyre is basically two compounds soft and, and double when you when you switch from medium to soft you gain double the time compared to hard to medium so it's that much faster but it's also that much more volatile and and you know just drops off in terms of wear after what like probably seven or eight laps uh how much do you consider it to be a viable tire for qualifying or race i think a lot of people will be qualifying on the mediums and um, the softs can last and they are a lot faster but I from where we're running this week they don't last long enough to for me anyway they just don't last long enough so mm -hmm. I think for a one stop I think I'm gonna have to start in the medium tires mm -hmm. but it just means qualifying a lot probably down the order because obviously some people might find it different but uh, I think the softs just won't last long enough do you do you th think the softs could last long enough for some drivers uh, to pull off a one-stop soft to hard? Yeah, definitely. I think you can do at least 20 laps on the hards around this track. So I think if you get into oh, lap wow. 7 to 9, you could hmm. maybe go into the hards and go to the end of the race today. Okay. Pretty risk, pretty risky, and you might obviously lose some time. But I definitely hmm. think that would be faster than a soft medium-medium strategy today. Okay. All right. Interesting. Yeah, that, that's all I have, Owen. Well, uh, I've given you all I've got as well. Uh, I've just got to say one more thing, I guess. So good luck. Hope you can build on your fastest lap point that you got earlier on in the season and can get your way up the, the standings. Currently P18. Let's hope to see you get up there a bit. Yeah, thank you very much, guys. Enjoy the race. Thanks. Good luck. You know, one thing I did actually see, I'm trying to think about when it was, but I swear I've seen someone try and do soft to medium around this track, and it actually worked. Like, it, it, you can do it. <laughs> and I think they actually won yeah. that race as well, but you need to be so consistent with the tires. I just don't think anyone's going to risk that tonight. Yeah, I think that's a strategy that you might leave to, you know, the ones participating in F1 esports. 
Well, he is an esports driver, to be, to be fair. Well, at least he's yeah, a pro yeah, driver. Yeah, exactly. Well, See? Well, well. <laughs> See? There you go. Hey. You, 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 your, 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 your tire wear skills, your, your tire management skills need to be at a level where you're among the best in the world if you want to pull that off. And look, I don't want to take anything away from these drivers. They're really good drivers. They're certainly better than I am. I have no trouble admitting that. <laughs> and they're, they're really good drivers. But that level, I, I just don't see. It's soft to hard, I can see here. Definitely. Um, and uh, the question is whether it's fast enough to, to for someone to actually pull it off, but it's certainly possible. The the medium to hard strategy, or hard to medium, if you're qualifying outside the top 10, maybe, you know, trying to go counter, um, <laughs> is pretty much the safe bet here it's it's definitely going to get you to the finish line it's you're not going to have any trouble with the tires but but soft to hard possible but tough to pull off soft to medium again in a series that would be great but <laughs> for now you know they're not and and so that's that's a really really big ask if someone could pull it off i would love to see it today yeah, it would be very good to see. Sorry if you heard an ice cream van outside, by the way. It's very loud. It's gone now. So don't worry about that. But um, I think the one thing that these guys are going to worry about, I think it might be quite similar to Canada, where the two-stop could be viable because the hards are just so poor. Because they, they genuinely just... They're, they're just impossible to use. And so you could see people going soft, soft, medium, or soft, medium, soft, or even soft, medium, medium, something like that just so that they're on working tires the whole race. I'm sure someone will try it somewhere, but it's not quite yeah, as bad as Canada, is, but it's around yeah, the same sort of I, I, concept. I think someone's going to try it, but I don't think on this track it's going to be as successful because the you said the hard tire is basically unusable. I would disagree with that because the, basically the hard tire is just... As I said before, the difference between medium and hard is only half the difference between soft and medium. So there's a huge... It's, it's basically like last year, on last year's game, where we had the... What was the ultra like soft? Ultra to and soft And then we skipped the super soft, soft and then yeah. we had soft to medium. Yeah, that's basically what we have here. And and usually what that means is that the, the, the two harder compounds... They're not exactly interchangeable, but because they're a lot closer, they're both viable race tires. So the hard is going to be a bit harder. I don't know if that's where the name comes from, but uh, it's going to be harder to get up to temperature. But I don't see it as an impossible task, especially especially for these drivers. Usually, you know, for, I would have trouble getting them up to temperature because I'm not good at this game. I, I used to be better <laughs> in previous iterations of F1, but I'm not good at this one. I, I, I'm getting old, you know. Ooh. But um, no, I think I think these drivers can can definitely get the hard tire up to temperature. It's it's again a little bit of a challenge, but not as much of a challenge as going soft to medium in this race. Yeah, I think another thing as well with the tyres, they're saying about qualifying, just once again, you're mentioning a big gap. I just wonder if you see one or two people go to qualify in the softs, or like, we're starting along those lines, how many people would follow that? Because it is just such a major not difference. Many. Really? The, yeah, not many, because usually a lot of these drivers do decide on their race strategy and therefore on their qualifying strategy, their qualifying tyre. Um, already, they've decided already. They they have their plan in mind, and and most of these drivers tend to not deviate from that plan because it, you know if you if you plan for that kind of stuff, you know you make sure your plan is good. And if your plan is good, why would you switch from it? So yeah. I I just don't see all two. Maybe there's going to be one or two. That are gonna switch if if they see two drivers, maybe we'll see a third. I I would even doubt a fourth. So I think I don't think we'll see more than three drivers because at the same time they've they've done the testing, they've made sure that you know that they know how each tire um, 
is is you know is is how they can handle each tire and uh, how it performs and how it wears and and determine their strategy based on, on that well i guess we'll we'll see what they do another thing like i say is the rear and i don't know how much you've seen it but a lot of Ligris I often see rain in the last two or three laps and what it's done, at least from my own experience, it's been about three or four races it's happened in. Uh, about five laps to go, or maybe three laps, one or the other, it will rain and I wonder if people, how many people have tested that because it, for some reason this track loves rain and it also likes virtual safety cars. I don't know how many. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how many would actually take that into account because if it was me, if I was, you know, not retired, I would... I'd be countering that into mine, but uh, I'm, I'm sure someone will try. Looks like White Fine, though, is getting ready to go. We've got 17 drivers, so uh, I think we're getting ready to go. We'll find out what the rain's going to do when we get told eventually. Yeah, and uh, that's something now with now that not all the drivers had more time to prepare, as Ellie Chots mentioned. Um, rain isn't going to catch these drivers as much off guard. As it would on a on a normal week on a normal seven day preparation, but it it might still catch one or two out, and um, so, because some drivers prepare, some drivers even prepare for Bahrain in the wet, <laughs> you know, mm. <laughs> or Abu Dhabi. Yeah, <laughs> you know? and, and some drivers just and some other drivers just never do it, and and usually you see who those drivers are once you do get a, a rain race, you do get a wet race. But, um, yeah, I, I think with this longer week, most of the drivers will have prepared. I you've got Odem's in the chat there. He's, uh, he's actually with me on the soft to medium. He is saying it is quite doable. He's also saying you'd be surprised how many would go for softs. Mind you, he is also a pretty quick driver, so maybe you take that over. Pinch yourself. Yeah, exactly. But, um, <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's stop trying to speculate. We're about to find out what happens. And by the way... I wonder if anyone's going to get caught up by that pit lane. Because I don't know about you, but it always catches me out still. Because I always forget it's on the right-hand side now of the penultimate corner rather than on the main straight. See, see, as soon as they made the change, for me, it was basically instant that I that I was like, oh, there it is now. Fantastic. Because it is <laughs> a much better solution than the previous one where you had this awkward entrance into the pit lane that was in the middle of the basically the, the pit wall it was so weird and and now they've they've found an elegant solution that also saves time on a pit stop you 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 lose about five seconds less on this pit lane compared to last season which is a huge deal and which makes two stops a little more viable i wouldn't say enough to warrant a two stop we would need canada levels of, yeah. of pit entry and pit exit for a little more viable you don't lose as much time on a two stop but it's i think it's still not viable because you still lose a little bit too much time in the pit lane for it to to actually work so we've got our first card of the pits then, uh, Scorpion, straight out on to the softs. A lot of them are probably going to go out in the hards and mediums, etc. But uh, it's looking quite dull out there. And uh, one thing I always seem to notice is that when the lights are on as well around here, I've done a lot of extensive reading. Maybe I'm just really overhyping rain, but it looks like it's about to rain, okay? Let me try and be right for once. Also, I cannot do anything about the lag. My internet's playing up like hell. I might need you to take over if I DC often, but... Oh god, it's not it's not good. It's not good. I'm not liking that McLaren. Uh-oh. It's a big auto. I don't know what's wrong with it. I don't know. It's all broken. Oh jeez. <laughs> just 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 deal with it. It'll have to it'll have to do. Yeah. Oh, you're lagging as well. We're, we're, I'm pretty sure we're gonna get drivers by the way, so it's gonna be a nice dry race and dry quality. So even though it looks like it's about to have a huge downpour, it's not. So we're all okay. Right, give us one I'm... second, Austin. <laughs> one second, because right. I'm, I'm screwing up. It's, it's all going yeah, wrong I already. That. <laughs> 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 all right, meanwhile, Scorpion is on his way to the finish line to start his first lap. 
And uh, we could take a look at the track a little bit here. Turn one, quite blind. It's it's kind of behind a little crest there. Very hard to see. You don't see turn two at all until you actually get there. Uh, so very tough section here. Turn three, very flowing. Four, five. You have to slow down again. That's that's really chumpy. Turn five. I I feel like when I uh, you know did a little bit of test driving there. Turn five always really feels really choppy. Uh, three and four are flowing section, then all of a sudden you have to break down into like second gear and, and ah. Turn six, very long right-hander. Turn seven, this full speed left-hander, you don't even uh, lift there. And then we go here into turn eight into the chicane, turn nine. Uh, best overtaking uh, spot by Just far. Back. I have to go again, flip me. <laughs> there you go. Um, second part of the straight here into senior. One of the corners on the the only corner on this track probably that everyone knows the name of and then we get into this long winding right hander here really hard to get right but, but if you do it's really satisfying then left hander here we're getting to the end of the lap already uh only a couple more corners and uh we're up to turn 14 here this left hander this is where the pit entry is on the right side turn 15 again really slow before you get onto that start finish straight and across the line, what is the lap going to be? It is a 130.4 for Scorpion. He is the first one to settle lap time. Uh, he is not going to be the last one to settle lap time. And he, I don't think he will remain in first place. We'll see what the other drivers can do. But for now, the McLaren's in first. Let's see how long that can stay. Uh, there is Jor with a 130.9, cannot match it, but plenty of soft driver, soft, yeah, drivers on the soft tires here. We have seven on the track right now. Uh, Scorpion, Pete, Jor, Jarvis, uh, or Zach Jarvis, uh, Jorit, White Fountain, and Zyman all on track with the softs. And Scorpion's still in the lead. Uh, unfortunately, the streamers just died. Now, you can still hear us, but it's a radio show now. So, predictably, we've waited months and months and months to do another stream together, and it's broken. So The thing is, I've, do I've done sim racing radio before. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, we, we could do Not that. the first time. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to stop the stream here and start it up again towards the end of qualifying. So, sorry about this, okay. people. We're going to reset the internet, which means, Austin, you're going to I'm gonna have to lead the party for a minute. I think I've got more advice okay. to get back in. But, uh, yeah, I think you'll... I've, yeah, sorry about this, people. But my internet's not working at all. And if it still doesn't work, then I might need you to do it, Austin. But anyway, uh, see you people on the stream in a minute. 